So I was reading about this guy in the States who decided he was going to make a chicken sandwich from scratch. And by scratch I mean he was growing the chicken, he was growing the grain to make the bread, he was uh, building everything. And in the end it took him 18 months and $15,000 to make a single chicken sandwich. You might wonder, wonder what that's got to do with your or my mental health and well-being. That as a society we can effortlessly make you know, virtually limited numbers, limitless numbers of chicken sandwiches. Um, because we cooperate. No one person knows how to really make a chicken sandwich from scratch. And it's even true in the building industry, no one person has the expertise to build everything in a house, especially from scratch, you know, making the glass, the, uh, the metal, the tools, you know, it's an astonishing thing, but we can do it relatively uh, well together because we cooperate. We'll give a bit, we'll take a bit, uh, and we end up in the right place. And I think that's true of our mental health and well-being as well, frankly, that, that we've got to be prepared to work together. If you're just going this alone to sort out your own health and well-being and uh, other people are going it alone, well you've got about as much chance of doing that as making a chicken sandwich from scratch, which is you know, a lot of money and a long time and you probably will never get there. So it's, it's a good lesson that we're so successful as a species because of our ability to work together and we know that we're so deeply hardwired. We have a thing called mirror neurons. When uh, our mates are happy, you know, the same exact brain parts light up. When they hurt a bit, our exact same brain parts light up a bit as well. So we, we, we have this empathy um, built in, but you've got to use it, guys. You've got to make some effort to uh, give a bit and take a bit. And uh, for us men, that giving a bit is such an important thing. And I don't want to put you too far out of your comfort zone, guys, but you know, who... Uh, what you call it, your 3 a.m. people. Who could you call at 3 a.m. in the morning that would come running, that would be in your corner, that would move heaven and earth to help you um, when they wake up in the middle of the night? Who are those people? Can you name them? Can you give me their numbers? Uh, and I bet you those people are people you help and put some active time into as well because it works exactly both ways. Your 3 a.m. people will be there 3 a.m. people and it's just part of living a good, healthy, happy life. We're in it together.